Hey, thank you for joining me. This is Parker from DustProbChampions.com. Here's your problem for the day. This is for which value of x is the expression y equals 7x divided by 2 minus x undefined. So go ahead, pause the video, you know the drill, try it out on your own. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this, and I'm going to go over it now. So if you got stuck or didn't know how to do this, that's okay. What you need to understand here is that when you're given a question like this, for which value of x is the expression y equals 7x over 2 minus x undefined, you have to understand that whenever you try to divide a number by zero, you're going to get an error message because you can't do that. You can never divide by zero. And if you don't believe me, just pull up your calculator right now and put in any number you want, try to divide it by zero, and you're going to get an error message. So the expression or the function, whichever you want to call it, is going to be undefined when you've got a zero in the denominator because you can't divide by zero. So what we want to do here is we want to find which number is going to make give us a zero in the denominator when we plug that number in for x. So the strategy here is to just take our denominator, and if you're not sure what I mean by denominator, I'm just talking about the bottom part of the fraction. So the 2x, the 2 minus x is our denominator. So I'm just going to abbreviate that. Let me just put a d here. And the number on top of our fraction is the numerator. So I'm just going to put an n there to abbreviate that top number of a fraction is always the numerator. The bottom number or the bottom part of a fraction is always called our denominator. So we want to take our denominator, set it equal to zero. So here's what we do. We take two minus x and we set that equal to zero. And so now what we're going to do is we want to solve this equation for x. So basically what we want to do is get the x by itself on both sides of the equation. Or I mean, I'm sorry get the x by itself on one side of the equation. So what we want to do here is we see we've got two minus x. So there's an, a minus in front of the x. So we want to do the opposite operation or the inverse operation, whatever you want to call it. So we want to add x to both sides because whatever you do to one side, you always do to the other. So minus x plus x that cancels out and we're left with two equals x. And so what we've just figured out is that whenever we plug a 2 in for x, we're going to get a, a divide by 0 error. Okay, so let me show you what I mean here. So we've got, let's say we plug 2 into the equation for x. And all that means when I say plug in, we're just going to take this 2 and substitute it into our equation for x. So we have y equals 7x. So since we're going to make 2 equal to x, I would put in a 2 here where the x was. So we've got y equals 7x divided by 2 minus x. And so we're going to now put plug our 2 in here, okay, for the x. And so as you can see here, 7 times 2 is going to be 14. 7 times 2 is 14. So let me rewrite this down here. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So you can see that the expression is undefined now because we can't divide by 0. You're going to get an error message. And again, if you don't believe me, put that in your calculator. It's going to give you an error. Divide by 0 error. So the answer here is that the expression, the for which value of x is the expression undefined, it's going to be 2. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. This is a practice problem out of my GED Math Champions Guide. You can get that uh, free sample down below. You get 50 problems. You get this one, and you'll get the solution to all of those. So I do make most of these problem of the day videos right out of there. And also, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. That way I'll know to keep making more content like this that's helpful to you. Also, please click subscribe. That way you won't miss any math problems of the day. Thanks, guys. I hope this was helpful for you.